Workers with five different local utilities have crews already staged in Florida with two more municipalities en route planning to arrive on Friday. All of them taking on dangerous work far from home, answering a call that came in on Sunday without hesitation. 36 workers in all hit the road to Orlando, Florida this week from West Michigan to help restore power in the region soon to be hit by Hurricane Milton and still recovering, in some cases, from Hurricane Helene. The long reach of the aid calls reflecting the severity of the storm and the state of relief efforts closer by. You can't call someone from Georgia or North Carolina when they're still trying to clean up their mess, right? So you kind of got to leapfrog those people and say, hey, um, where can I get the help? I was surprised and our national coordinator um, who works out of Michigan was surprised when we got the call for this storm. We did have many crews ready and willing to go for the last storm, but we were not called into Florida. They're expecting a really bad storm. Crews from Holland, Zealand, Lowell, Niles, Sturgis and Grand Haven have already arrived in Orlando with their equipment ready to hit the ground running when the storm clears, while crews from Traverse City and Lansing are on the road now set to arrive on Friday. These guys volunteered. So we asked, hey, who wants to go? And we actually had to limit the number of people we can send, right? Because they all want to go be part of it. The robust response is coordinated by the Michigan Municipal Electric Association, which has organized a standing framework of agreements to help each other and the wider country at a moment's notice. It's really what we're founded on, um, helping our brothers and sisters in need. They are, they're facing a really difficult time, and so it's just incredible to see all of the utilities come together. You know, they don't even blink. It's, yes, we can go. We want to be there. The heartfelt and hazardous mission not taken lightly. You're in an unknown area. A lot of times it's in uh, bad weather conditions, uh, flooding. Uh, maybe you can't see something like dangerous, so it's a very it's a very dangerous job. But it's, it's, a, it's a very fulfilling job as well. And it is one of the most difficult parts of the job, but it is also one of the most rewarding because these folks are putting their lives at risk to go and help other people in need. Now, the MMEA said that the crews that are down there right now will stay for up to two weeks. And if there's still need after that, they'll work on tagging out with additional help from here in West Michigan.